just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah Please give me a sign, yeah I just wanna love, I don't wanna fight I just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. It's Tuesday. Um, right now, just about ready to leave the house, but first I have to get my open diff. So go through this maze. Open diff's right there. So gotta bring that to Marcus because he will be doing the welding for me. I'll probably um, just take it to Chris's shop to get all the fluid out and clean it out myself and then just give it to Marcus to weld because I don't know how to weld, but it's a nice day out, not too hot. Wish it was a little breezier. You can see the, the trees going, but I feel like today's gonna be a good day. All right guys, so we're at the shop now. Um, been at the shop for a little bit, but uh, just been doing little stuff that you guys really don't wanna see. Um, but I'm about to drain the fluid out of the diff, clean it up for Marcus and then bring it over to him. All right, guys, so now we're at HP. You guys saw me uh, take apart the diff cover, clean it out, and all that stuff the best I can. Um, clean the exterior as best I can, but sucks because uh, the pressure washer broke, so I just had to scrub and get wet and soak and shit like that. But um, now what Marks is instructing me to do is take off the full bolts, caps that's holding in, take out the axle stubs out to just to take out the center core so you can weld it up without getting any slag on the inside of the diff and there's, so there's no problem because the last time he welded, he kind of ruined his diff. So um, we're about to just take that apart. I'll set you guys up in a time lapse, I guess. And then we'll go from there. This was a little terrifying for me just because I've never done this before. But obviously you gotta trust the homies, right? You gotta trust the homies. You gotta trust the homies. You gotta trust the homies. So I know I know Marcus wanna steer me wrong, Dan wanna steer me wrong, Steph maybe will steer me wrong sometimes. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. But as Marcus said, just keep it in order. So you got the stub shaft, end cap, the side bearings and stuff like that. Just make sure they came out the same way. Got the center core that Marcus is gonna weld up. He's probably gonna have to break clean it some more just because I only use one can that I have to replace for Chris. So, you know, but it's there. All right, so now I gotta take off this big gear thingy majigger. So, let's get to it. So right now I'm on slag duty. So all the little balls of slag, try to get out as much as possible and um, just try to clean it up so nothing gets looked up in the diff. You know, you don't want any of the slag to fall off and then, you know, get stuck in something and mess things up. So I'm just gonna do this off camera, try to get as much slag as possible off and then put the diff back together and then eventually put it in. Basically got as much off as possible, but um, when I do put this in, we're just gonna run it. Um, I might put it in 
uh, either tonight if I if I could get a lift open or um, I'll put it in probably possibly Thursday night or Saturday night because I might bring it to the compound just to test it out um, but I'm just gonna run it at one time and then Monday when I'm off again um, just drain the fluid just so it gets the rest of the slag or whatever piece is left drain it fill it back up and it'll be good for the rest of its existence inside the car so uh, yeah we will the boys now Well, from the, what the last you saw was, I was putting the ring gear on, supposedly, um, but I swear I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. But the whole entire diff is back together. Um, you know, it's welded now. All the bearings and stuff are in the right locations. I didn't, you know, put them in the wrong spots. It actually, on these end caps, it actually kind of shows you exactly what orientation it went. So. If it fell apart and you didn't know where it kind of went, uh, the end caps kind of show you. So, but now I'm just spinning the front. Both ears go forward now, and we're cooking. But um, on my LSD, it has a 300ZX uh, rear housing or the, the the diff cover. So uh, I'm gonna put that on just because it'll hold more fluid, and it has the cooling fins on it just to make it look cooler, and just because I like it. And it's uh it's newer too, so it's still silver. So we're gonna put that on. And uh yeah. Like I said before, the LSDs will be for sale. I just have the the other diff cover on it. So time to bring this over back to Chris's shop. Alright guys, so continuation of yesterday. We're underneath the car for the third time in the rear end because we've already been down here two other times. One to swap the LSD and two to put the solid in. Well, right now, I'm gonna swap the LZ out and put the ball in. So, race car. Yes. And as you can see, a little leaky under here, but it's okay. It's not the diff, I swear. The LZ is still for sale, too. So, if anyone wants it, let me know. 100 bucks. All right, guys, so on the ground, the LSD is out. That was a little bit of a bitch just because uh, my axles like to stay with the stub shafts for some reason. So it had a little bit of help, but just took the 300ZX um, rear diff cover off just because it holds a little more fluid and it has the cooler fins on it and just because I like it better and it's cleaner. So since I spent the time cleaning the the diff for Marcus to weld, you know, might as well go clean and clean. So just brake cleaned it off, cleaned it out. Oh, bolts are in. Just gotta wait till the RTV gets a little tacky in like a couple minutes and hammer down, fill up with fluid and go back in. As you guys can see, diff is in, everything's bolted up, uh, loctited everything, made sure everything was loctited and tight, checked over every single bolt. Now, S14 has it welded in and we go and test her out a little bit. All right guys, so we're in the car, just went for a little drive to see if you know everything's good, see if 
I didn't fuck up anything in the diff and uh, putting anything in, but everything feels good, so I'm just gonna try to test it out right now. like this video give it a thumbs up um you know we're just slowly preparing the car so i could be a lot more comfortable in it because uh this weekend we're probably definitely going to the, the compound just don't know which day but uh we're definitely gonna test it out again um fix the seat fi definitely fix the seat because as you guys can see i'm still high up mm. but before when it was fi uh, fixed before i wasn't having any issues at all and um just check over the car some more and uh, yeah, you know, just stay tuned. <clears throat> just adding on to the rest of the video, um, huge shout out to Marcus for welding my diff. You know, he's always helping me out, trying to trying to make me uh, make the S14 into a, a primarily drift car, but you know, that's not the case. Um, you know, it's for me, it's, it's, the car is a little too clean to make it like, a you know permanent drift car like i always say it's not going to be a permanent drift car but um you know i i just want to set it up to where it's a fun street car and you know if you know it's my only car at the time and it wants to get down at like, like osw or something like that um it, it'll be ready for that but um you know just slowly slowly making the car better you know you know you're learning from different options that you do like the lsd is good but you need a real LSD for it to be, you know, more uh, predictable. Um, with a viscous LSD, you know, once the fluid warms up, it just, it's just like on and off, you know, whenever it wants to, it'll, it'll like switch from open to, you know, both sides locking and, you know, just unpredictable, like everyone just tells me. But um, yeah, like I said, like this video, put it down in the comments what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.